प्लांट these yes, things never stops dividing okay and they divide throughout their life and they are responsible for increase of plant height length weight girth etc okay yes ma'am and prominent tissues ma'am for prominent tissues uh, ma'am i ma'am i don't know how to define prominent tissues ma'am but i can explain the types of the prominent tissues see oh, ma'am can you ma'am may explain okay you can explain razi oh, ma'am prominent tissues are those tissues who uh, lose the ability to divide yes Permanent tissues are those tissues which are formed from meristematic tissues. Those meristematic tissue which lose their ability to divide. Permanent tissues, tissues are those tissues which are formed from meristematic ones. Formed from meristematic tissues only. Meristematic tissues only which have lost their ability to divide. This is the most important point. Which have lost their ability to divide. means those meristematic tissue which are not able to divide or which are old cells of meristematic tissues they form what they form permanent tissues and their structure are what somewhat like thick and uh, they either stop growing or they have thick or thin walled some cells of permanent tissues are alive some cells can be dead also okay now what is the type of permanent tissues and meristematic tissues shazan you will explain this to me ma'am for this one yeah explain the type of meristematic tissues No. See, it is written only. Capital inter. Oh, yeah, I'll not see there. Okay. I don't like. Uh, wait, I'll just. Sorry. What is apical meristem? Apical. Since you are taking time, so I'll ask Arham. Arham, you tell me what is apical meristem. No, I forgot. Okay, try I'm to remember. Yeah. Like Pogan, Sharia, Sharia is there. Okay, she is not. No. So Abhika, Razi. Oh yes, yeah, Sharia, you are there. Can you tell me what is apical intercalary and lateral meristems? Ma'am, ma'am, the apical helps in the growth of the length. Ma'am, lateral. Yes, apical meristems are found at the ma'am. Ma'am, they are found on the tip of the uh, wait, ma'am, tip of the stem and roots. Yes, apical meristems are found on what tip of stem or root? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Shazan, now ring a bell or something. Now you are able to remember? No, ma'am, still not. Okay, seems you have covered it. Yes, ma'am. I'm not able to remember. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Our SST exam is there. That is, I need to remember a whole bunch of things. Okay. Roots and stems. Now, Razi, can you tell me about intercalary meristems? Okay. What does intercalary meristems do? What is their main functions? Okay. I'll explain. Intercalary meristems are present at the base of leaves. Man has uh, drawn a diagram of like this, na? Tip of root, then uh, some similar like structure. And the intercalary meristems are found right here. After that, ma'am, I was speaking, uh, but but I forgot to turn on my mic. Okay, you can now tell. Ma'am, I said that. Ma'am, I said that they help in uh they help in increasing the girth of the plant, and yes. they are uh, present at uh at the girth of the plant. No, girth of plant is done by lateral meristem, not intercalary. Oh, they help in longitudinal uh, growth. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I think ma'am told uh, us that they uh, they are found uh, near the node or something like that. Yeah, this one is I have my drawing is bad. Okay, but this one is the node in between these. This area is of what intercalary meristem in between the nodes. Okay, nodes or inter nodes of leaves. Intercalary meristems are found, and these are basically helpful in increasing the what longitudinal growth of the plant by adding what primary tissues. They add primary tissues and longitudinal the plant grow. it is done by what intercalary meristem now the third one lateral meristem lateral meristem basically does what it increases the girth of the plant girth of the plant means what the inside oh, thickness thickness of plant from inside girth of the plant by which the plant gets thickened it is done by what lateral meristem i'm just revisiting what you have learned since you all have forgotten 
Now coming back to permanent tissues. Now Shazan, please try to remember and tell me what is permanent tissues, uh, complex and simple one. You will explain this too to me. What is complex permanent tissue and what is simple permanent tissue? Ma'am, complex permanent tissues consist of. Uh, um, there are two types. One is phylum uh, and one is phylum. <laughs> yes, of course, there is two type of complex tissues. And ma'am, uh, and one. What one is simple permanent tissue? Permanent tissue? Uh, what does simple permanent tissue do? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you get. They consist of. Uh, uh, they consist of what? Simple cells, oval like kind of cells. Yes, ma'am. Yes, remember now. No. Ma'am, I will I when I revise then you ask the questions. See, simple tissues. Simple tissue does what? They provide support. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And they perform uh, besides supporting, they perform other functions like uh, they are what uh, uh sorry, they are provide uh, photosynthesis, they are helpful in photosynthesis, they are growth, uh, they provide growth also. So helpful in photosynthesis also. Photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, simple permanent tissues are uh, also made up of only one kind of cells. Yes, made up of only one kind of cells. Kind of cells. If you want, you can have the lecture notes which ma'am has taught alongside yes, with you. Okay, yeah, they are oval shaped also. One of the major characteristics of this um, simple kind of tissues. There are many shapes, but mostly they are oval shaped. Okay, simple tissues is of following three kinds, which are these three kinds: parenchyma, polenchyma, and sclerenchyma. What is now parenchyma? Does anyone remember what is parenchyma? No, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, is it also as connective and supporting tissues? Okay, connecting and supportive tissues. Only supporting tissue uh, include these parenchyma, polenchyma, sclerenchyma. These all three are included in supporting tissues only. Uh -huh. Yes. So, I was telling parenchyma, these are most important point, living cells. These are living cells. Ma'am, I am it's permanent tissue or simple permanent tissue. Yes, simple permanent tissue. I have all, earlier what I have told you, they can be living or they can be dead also. Yes, yes, I told you now. So these are what parenchyma are living tissues or living cells. They are oval shaped. They may be rounded sometimes. Okay, rounded. Ma'am, they are modified to perform various functions. Yes. So what are their functions, Shazan? Ma'am, don't talk that way. Deep. <laughs> don't go so much deep. Okay, Adhika, can you tell me what are their functions? Can okay, you repeat the question? Yeah. What are the function of parenchyma? Ma'am, I don't know. Okay. Um, where are these parenchymata cells are found? Uh, one second, I have a question. Ma'am, parenchyma cells, they're only uh, found in the plants, right? Yes, they are only found in plants. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, they're, ma they're found inside the leaf in the uh, chloroplast. Yes, leaves, roots, non woody parts of the plant. They are found where? Found in soft parts of the plant. Woody. Or we can say soft plant. Yes soft parts of the plants okay like roots stems sorry uh, stems cannot be included so roots leaves fruits also flower also okay flowers fruits etc so now i hope can you tell me the function adhika can anyone tell adhika razi arham shazan sharia remember functions of parents yeah see one function is i can see from this example only Ma'am, I just know one function. Can I tell that? Ma'am, uh, ma'am, ma'am. Ma he, uh, he is that repair man. Uh, ma'am, it's also responsible for storage. Yeah. Heals uh, yeah. and repairs. Uh, till now, uh, it can it, it does, but not a very high level of dust. So it cannot be included in function. Uh, important or primary importance of function. Okay. It is not primary function of parenchyma. So first is the most primary function or most prioritized function is what it is stores food because it is found in leaves and leaves does what it prepares food. So storage of food is the prime function. Second important function you can tell that in your leaves what contain what chlorophyll and in that situation it performs photosynthesis. So the leaves under which uh, the cells which perform photosynthesis are called what chlorenchyma. So it helps in performing photosynthesis photosynthesis and the cells which perform photosynthesis are named as chlorenchyma photosynthesis the cells are called chlorenchyma you haven't taken your bio class by uh, this time so i think you have forgotten about this class okay yes. now parenchyma is also third primary function can anyone tell 
Okay, Adam, you try to tell me any function of parenchyma. Ma'am, is it transporting food? Transporting food does complex tissues function, na? transporting and oh, yes, does, na? Yeah. Yes, in complex. So, in aquatic plants, aquatic plants, the parenchyma does or provides bion C. So, that can a plant leaves or plant stems or their fruits or any part can flow in the float in the water. So, it provides bion C. It provides Abhikar, what is bion C? It is a term which we study in physics. Bion C is Ma'am, Ma'am, mm. Ma I'm not sure, but does it like have something to do with like up and going up and down? Yeah, it is floating. It is related to floating. The ability of uh, anything to float on the surface of water is known as buoyancy. Okay. Oh yes, Ma'am, yes, Ma'am. Ability to float on the surface of water is what buoyancy. To float on the surface of water. Now, parenchyma is done. I think. Next is what? Cholenchyma. Now, uh, Sharia, can you tell me what is cholenchyma? Okay, cholenchyma, where it is present? See, this happens when you does not revise your subject. Everyone says that you should revise your subject within a week so that you cannot forget anything. It is just only 10 to 12 days. And you have all have forgotten what ma'am has taught you about this. I think ma'am has taught till connective tissues. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am taught us connective tissues. Then? Polyntyma is what? These tissues are generally found behind or uh, found in the leaf stalks below the epidermis. The stem has epidermis, not? They are found where? Mom, what is the question again? Polyntyma, uh, where does polyntyma found? It is found um, below the epidermis of below the epidermis of the stem or leaf stalks or in the leaf stalks. Okay? And what does it do? What are the functions? Ma'am, uh, mm. no, no, ma it was like, uh, it was for the easy bending of plants. Yes, it provides flexibility, function, we can say, functions. The major function is what? It provides flexibility, flexibility to plants. Okay, any other function? Can anyone tell me? Okay, it provides, Razi have already told, na, easy bending. Yes, ma'am. Easy bending without breaking of any plant parts, without breaking of any plant parts. Okay. Any other function? Ma'am, uh, they also provide mechanical support. The support are you? Yeah, that mechanical support is included in flexibility only. Ma'am, turgidity and rigidity? Turgidity and rigidity provided by sclerin parameter cells, not a uh, pollen Okay? Okay. See, the chloroplast which contain pollen parameter cells, they also store or manufacture sugar in starch, means they also participate in photosynthesis. Those chloroplasts which contain chloro uh, pollen chyma, they only participate in photosynthesis. Okay? So, chloroplast containing, containing uh, what? Pollen chyma stores what? Sugar and starch. And sugar and starch is formed by what process? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Yes. Now we come to sclerenchyma. Who will tell me about sclerenchyma? Ma'am, uh, first of all, they are dead cells. Mm -hmm. uh, Ma'am, uh, they were similar to... Yes, they also provide mechanical support. Yes, dead cells. Mm -hmm. They have thickened walls. Thickened walls. By having their thickened walls only, they provide mechanical support. Okay? Uh, yes, why, uh, why, why, wall, what, what, ma why these sclerenchyma cells have thickened walls? Ma'am, because of lignin. Yes. That's what I was yeah. Because of lignin. Because of lignin. Okay. Now, uh, what are the functions of sclerin parameter cells? See, I'm just uh, revisiting everything which ma'am has taught. Ma'am has taught you more detail than this. Ma'am, oh, what Advika said. Ma'am, uh, uh, providing turgidity and rigidity. Yes, providing turgidity functions. Provide turgidity and rigidity. Shazan, can you tell me any other function? Shazan, are you there? Okay, he's not in the group. Arham, can you tell me what can be the other function of sclerenchyma? See, these are dead cells and they provide turgidity means these are strong kind of cells. So what does we do with the strong kind of cells? <clears throat> Ma, I think they uh, form the hard part of a plant like wood and all. Yes, they form hard part of the plant. Hard part like husk of coconut or we can say uh, some fruits like uh, uh, nashpati. What do we say, Nashpati? That hard, whenever we eat that Nashpati, it is like a little bit hard to crack now. They form hard part of the plants. Like 
has got coconut has got coconut and like what coconut that uh, like outside like uh, yeah outside wall of coconut that uh, brownish husk which we use uh, which we use to try tear it out sometimes we get injured also because they are so hard next is what they are hard as we have already studied they are hard so being their rigidity and turgidity and flexibility they are used for manufacturing mats and ropes also okay they are used for so they are used for manufacturing what mats and ropes oh you have seen na some materials made of jutes yes ma'am i have seen yeah manufacturing uh what i told you mats ropes and uh, some other hard textile kind of fibers okay textile fibers now we have ended the plant tissues every plant tissue is um, covered now now adham just elaborate plant tissues within 5 minutes what you have understood today now like what is the use like uh, what is the like of palmarma quinarma and for such what is plant tissues then how it is divided you can define in a single single line na try to define yeah Uh, what is meristematic tissues? Meristematic cells that help in the growth of the plant. Hmm. Uh, uh, Meris. What is permanent tissue? Permanent tissues are like uh, the ones that have lost ability to uh, produce or divide. Yes. How many types of meristematic tissue? Oh, I'm three. I'm apical, intercalary, and lateral. Hmm. Now, Arham, what is permanent tissue? Permanent what tissue are types? Uh, like which have lost their ability to uh, divide. Hmm. What are their types? Uh, permanent tissue are complex and simple. Okay. Simple. Uh, can I use the washroom? Yes, you can. As we can, simple tissue is uh, divided into how many kind of tissues? The simple. Uh, three. Yes. What are those? Parenchyma. I don't know. Parenchyma. Parenchyma. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay. Parenchyma. Parenchyma. Hmm. Colon. Uh, Parent, then colon, and then is clearin, and after that you have to attach thyma. Okay. Okay. Now okay. we will study about complex tissues. What are complex permanent tissues? Complex permanent tissues. What complex permanent tissues? Last time I have re- uh, I remember that Ma'am has asked from you only that uh, which cells is living, which only cell is living in xylem, and which only cell is dead in phloem. Sorry. Which only cell is dead in xylem, and which only cell is living in phloem? So the same question I'll ask from you today. Complex permanent tissue. Just study uh, this first, then I'll ask. Okay. Complex permanent tissue is divided into what? Xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem. Now, what is complex tissues? They are made up of one or more type of cell. Made of more than one kind of cells. Okay. Mm-hmm. One kind of cells. and they have also common origin that is why they are called uh, tissue okay and they are different appearance they have different appearance different shapes despite of that different appearance and different shape they coordinate to perform same functions so um, they, what uh, what does coordinate mean coordinate um, means coordinate okay i was thinking like each uh, other by uh, talking and sharing their responsibilities this is like clear as the pronunciation i was not getting Okay, the pronunciation was different for me. Okay. That's okay. Okay, now I understand. Despite of a uh, different appearance, different appearance, all the cells who coordinate to perform common function. Okay. Okay. Now coming back to its division, xylem and phloem. What does xylem do and what does phloem do? Xylem. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, xylem transports uh, water and phloem transports uh, food or glucose. Yes, transport water, transport water, and this one transport what? Food or glucose? Yes, ma'am, glucose or starch. And glucose. That photosynthesis. Yes, starch, etc. Okay. So xylem, uh, the main function of xylem and phloem is this only. And besides, uh, they are divided into four different kinds. Xylem is divided into four different kinds, and phloem is also divided into four different kinds. Now tell me, Arham, what are these four kinds? Uh, xylem is. Yeah. Yes, Razi, you can ma'am, tell. Now ma'am, it was xylem uh, tra- uh, trachylids, ma'am. Hmm. Xylem trachylids, xylem vessels, xylem parenchyma, and xylem fibers. Yes. Out of this, 
Which one is the living? Ma'am, uh, only ma'am, uh, it was uh, Xylem Parent Karma, yes ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, uh, in phloem, only dead, uh, dead cells is, uh, I think, dead cells are uh, phloem fibers. These three are what dead and this one is what living cell, okay? And in this phloem, uh, what are the parts of phloem, Adhika? Ma'am, as xylem, same goes for phloem, I think. No, phloem is kind of different, a little bit. Ma'am, uh, is it okay if I use my notes for this? Yes, you can. Yes, ma'am, ma'am, uh, ma'am, notes, uh, ma'am. In my notes, I wrote that, uh, ma'am, there are sieve tubes, companion cells, uh, like in, uh, ma'am, there are phloem, uh, fiber, uh, phloem fibers and phloem panchyma. Yes. yes. Sieve tubes, companion no, cells. Sieve tubes, ma'am, they like help, uh, uh, ma'am, they basically help filter the food. Yes, Abhika. Companion cells, then there are phloem um, fibers, phloem parenchyma, and phloem fibers. <laughs> yes, ma'am, phloem fibers are also uh, phloem sclerenchyma, right? Yes. Out of this, Arham will tell me which one is living and which three are dead. Oh, okay. Which three, uh, sorry. Which three are living and which one is dead in phloem? In phloem? Hmm. Uh, I don't remember. Let me go. Yes. Um, what was like the, like, F, uh, P, Y, what is that name? See, so, just see these two tricks. Okay. Yes, let me well, Colon fibers. The fiber is there. Is dead? The fiber is dead. Okay. Yeah. And this parenchyma. First, we have studied na simple permanent tissue parenchyma. Permanent tissue. Parenchyma is what? Living cell. Studied or not? Living cell, na? So parenchyma is always living. So here it is living. All the three cells are living. See? It becomes easy, na? Save tubes, companion cells, and fluid and parenchyma are living. And fluid and fibers are dead. Fibers are always dead, just remember, and parenchyma are always living. It helps you remember. Okay? Now, Advika, you tell me the difference between xylem and phloem. At least three differences you can tell. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Ma'am, any, uh, ma any three uh, differences, right? Yes. Um, yes, ma'am. Ma xylem helps in the transport of water, and yes. uh, xylem, uh, sorry, phloem helps in the distribution of food. Uh, mm -hmm. Xylem, uh, ma'am, xylem, like, uh, ma'am, ma the and whatever uh, the, the xylem is transporting moves in an upward direction, whereas in phloem it moves downwards. And xylem uh, is found so in the woody part. It is not necessary to move in downwards only. Phloem moves uh, moves all round. Okay, it is all rounder movement of phloem, not yes, only uh, that uh, downward. Okay, ma'am, xylem is uh, found in woody parts, whereas phloem is found in the soft parts. Yes, good. Alham, now you tell me what you tell me the difference between xylem and phloem. Uh, I don't remember right now. Okay. Right now, I don't remember. Uh, it contains three dead cells and one living. Now tell me which three dead cells and why which three uh, which is living? Uh, I'm like, uh, uh, what do you pronounce it again? Xi. Uh, um, uh, hmm? I forgot how to pronounce the name. Okay, you can see from here now. I forgot how I forgot how to pronounce something. Xylem, uh, tracheids, then vessels, then fibers, then parenchyma. See and speak in front of me. Uh, xylem. It's xylem. Hmm. Is it xylem? Xylem. Xylem. Hmm. Uh, so xylem. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, parenchyma. Is living uh, and the other ones are dead. Uh, and the see here xylem and uh, phloem difference. What is all oh, fibers are uh, dead mm -hmm. and the other three are living. Yes. So now uh, what? Okay. I can tell now. What is the difference between xylem and phloem? Three cells are dead in xylem and one yes. cell is living. Three dead cells are what? Xylem tracheids, xylem vessels, and xylem fibers. And only xylem parenchyma is living. And in phloem, three cells are living. The three living cells are living and uh, uh, only fibers are dead. Yes. Okay? Okay, man. Now coming to animal tissue. Now I'm going to elaborate it just this one. Okay? Because I think time is already up. So, animal tissue consists of what? Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, and nervous tissues. Okay? 
So epithelial tissue is further divided. Epithelial tissue is what, Avika? Can you tell me what is epithelial tissue? Epithelial tissues are what? These are protective tissues. These tissues cover what? Most of the human, uh, human sorry, animal body organs. These epithelial tissues are the ones that cover the skin, mouth, inner linings, and they protect the inner organs and inner body, part, uh, body parts. Okay? Epithelial tissue does what? They provide extra covering to the body and skeletal muscles. Okay? And these are divided into what? Squamous, cuboidal, columnar, and glandular. Ma'am has shown you the figure also. Squamous epithelium. Uh, just wait. Okay, so I was telling you about squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium is what? They are mostly simple and flat kind of cells. And they are divided into what? Simple and stratified. Simple is flat kind of cell. Stratified is what? They are one above the another. They are like this much thick. And squamous epithelium is this much. They are thin. Okay. And now cuboidal epithelium, they are cuboidal in shape and they form inner lining of what? Kidneys, ducts of salivary gland. These are uh, done by what? Cuboidal epithelium. Next is columnar epithelium. They are found in inner lining of the stomach because they have column-like structure which helpful in what? Movement of food. Okay. Now glandular epithelium, they are found in gland cells. Gland cells like what? Arham gland cells are like what? Like a... Uh, we can say uh, our gland, which are pancreatic glands, or we can say our salivary other glands. Yeah, salivary gland. We can other say uh, sweat glands. These kind of uh, cells, which are found, uh, those cells which are found in sweat glands or salivary glands or sweat glands, these are what glandular kind of cells. Okay. Now coming back to the function, what are function of epithelial cells? As I've already told you, first they are the uh, cells that cover the most of their body organs and body parts, okay? And they play vital role, why? Because they cover our skeleton and whole body is covered with what? Epithelial tissue only. And they secrete wide variety of substances like what? Saliva, sweat gland uh, secretes sweat, salivary gland secretes enzymes and salivary amylase. So this is very important in terms of their function. Now connective tissue is divided into bone, blood, Bone, blood, cartilage, areolar, and adipose. Now, bone is what? Tell me. Bone consists of, uh, uh, we can say, highly fibrous structures. And uh, fibrous structure means they are they form the skeletal body part of organism. Okay? Every skeletal body part is formed by what? Bones. Now, coming back to blood. Ma'am has told you about alkaline fluid. It consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, and blood platelets. Three kinds of cells Ma'am has taught you about now. So it includes what blood? Blood's main function is what? To transport oxygen from heart to different body organs. Okay. Now, areolar tissue. Areolar tissues are what? These are located between what? Skin and muscle cells. And they are mostly uh, kind of uh, found in bone marrows. So they can provide a retail uh, uh, movement despite of the rigidity. Okay. They have intercellular spaces and this is why air can go through them. These are kind of areolar tissues. Now we come to what? Adipose tissues. Adipose tissues what? Adhika has left. Adhika, are you there? Okay. So adipose tissues what? They are collection of fats or aggregates of fats are there which form adipose tissues. And now coming to what? Muscular tissues. I'm just elaborating. Ma'am will explain you a whole larger uh, notes and uh, all the things. So muscular tissues are what? They are elongated muscle cells. Our every body movement while from speaking to walking is done by what? Muscular tissues. Right now, if I'm moving my finger, that is with the help of what? Muscular tissues. There are elongated cells. They mainly provide in body movement and even movement of our muscles. These are done by muscular tissues. And now muscular tissue is divided into striated, unstriated and cardiac. Striated is what? Long, long striated structures are there which are found mainly in arms and thigh bones. These uh, this kind of cells are what is created muscles where long cylinder-like structures are there and they have numerous nucleus. Unexpriated kind of uh, tissue or uh, muscle fibers are found in, uh, uh, they are found in different kinds of glands or uh, joint connective tissue kind of cells. Okay, now cardiac. Cardiac uh, muscular tissue is found only at one place where cardiac muscles are found only in one place. Arham, do you know where? They are found only in heart. Cardiac itself refers to what? Heart. Okay. So, cardiac muscle cells are found in heart. And in heart, they perform or they cover the heart and they 
helpful in beating of heart they are helpful in rhythmic contraction of heart heart beats na so that beating of heart is done by what cardiac muscles and nervous tissues are what they carry the nerve impulses from one uh, nerve to another nerve even if someone is touching see i am touching my finger na that tip and that sensory information is done by these nervous tissues nervous tissue wow. carry info yes wow. ब्रेन so this is the whole scenario of what you have studied in the tissue chapter okay and ma'am will also when she will come and teach she will tell you the elaboration of that muscle and nervous tissues okay 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 bye everyone bye bye ma'am thank you ma'am thank you